some of the skills and character traits that you use within trading can be transferred into your real life. Do you think that statement's true? I think a lot of the traits you get in trading are, are, are bad traits, so probably not. Um, I think you have to kind of separate the trading world from the real world because you can get pretty messy if you don't. Um, certain things you do in trading you probably wouldn't attribute to, to real life. I guess being disciplined, being aggressive, you know, being right at the right time can transpire into real life. For me personally, I've tried to keep them a very separate you know, world. I'm not a particularly nice person when I'm trading. So I want to be a nice person in, in real life. That doesn't always work. But the stresses and strains and the commitment, you know, the, 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 the things I've sacrificed to be where I am, you know, that's, it's almost like, you know, Jacqueline and Hyde. You know, you're one person in the markets, then, you know, you're something else outside. So, no, I don't, I don't really think they can kind of cross over. How has trading affected your lifestyle and in what ways? Early days, badly. Um, I wasn't a nice person. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing. All I wanted was money. Um, I didn't care about people. I didn't care about anything. Um, so badly in the beginning, but then when you start to make money, you can make some changes. Um, changes are good. Um, so it's affected my life in every single which way you can possibly think, and some good, some bad. Um, I think I'm in a better place now. But I mean, some of the kind of scars I've got from trading might never be healed. And, when I say to people, you know, don't take on trading lightly. It's, it's from the heart, you know, it's, the money's great and that kind of stuff, but not many people get the opportunity to be necessarily where I am. And it's, as I say, it's not about me, you know, I'm just another person you've interviewed. There are plenty of people that make money out there trading and that kind of stuff. I'm just giving you my, my take and my opinion. And one thing I generally try to be is, you know, fairly honest and I'm teaching people from my own experience. I'm not, you know, I write books from my experience. I've not read anybody else's because I'm not that interested. Most portfolio managers don't beat the index, but they still keep their jobs. How do you feel about that? I don't feel anything. It's jobs for the boys, isn't it? You know, you can be a rubbish, you know, fund manager, which most of them are, and still make money. You know, it's all made in fees. You know, hedge funds exist because there's abundance of cash. You know, if you're worth, you know, ten million quid, you're gonna have some money in a fund because that's just what you do. That's what you're told to do.